Well, hello, Internet, and welcome to my tutorial on how to make a website HTTPS compliant. As you can see here in the upper left-hand corner, if you can't, you can view this full screen. But either way, you can see that this website here I have secured as HTTPS, and this one I have not scored as HTTPS. Now, if you can't see what this little error code looks like right here, it actually looks like this right here. So now I'm going to show you how to make this error code go away. First thing you're gonna need to do, of course, is to get an SSL certificate. Now these range in between 12 to $100. But what I would do if I was you is just go to support.google.com, the link that I have here on the screen, and it's gonna show you all of Google Checkout's approved SSL certificates. So chances are, if they are on the list, then you are going to be able to buy these and they are gonna work. So you might as well just buy the cheapest one. And I bought a GoDaddy one, you by no means have to, but the GoDaddy one's only $12.99 a month, and that is what I use, and that is what I used on this site to make it 100% compliant. So why spend $100 when you could spend $13 instead? Then what you're going to want to do is go into your WordPress site, but this will work on anything. I'm going to show you every website, but I'm going to start off with WordPress first because it's extremely easy to secure. So you just go into your WP-admin section of your WordPress site. And this is my WordPress shopping cart that I have right here. There's a link to that tutorial above because it's free and it's awesome. If you like making money anyway. Then what you're going to want to do is go down to settings inside of WordPress. And then right here where it says WordPress address URL and site address URL, you want to make sure this is HTTP. S. That's after you get a secure socket layer certificate. And you want to change both of those to HTTPS instead of HTTP. And then you want to come down here and hit save changes. Now for a lot of you, that's going to solve all the problems you're ever going to have because what WordPress is going to do is it's going to convert every single link on the site for the most part into a secure format. If you get this error like you, I have here on this website, the reason why you're getting that is because somewhere within your code there is an HTTP link. And Google Chrome specifically doesn't like that, and pretty much nobody else likes that. So one quick way that you can solve that issue is to go and get the Firefox browser if you do not have that, and you want to download it. And then you also want to download a little plugin or add-on called Firebug. Now you can do this in a couple different ways. You can go to getfirebug.com forward slash downloads and download it that way. Or you can go under tools, come to add-ons, click on that, and then just type in Firebug up here in the search box just like I just did. But in my situation, nothing's gonna pop up because I already have it. If I go to my add-ons, you can see that Firebug is right here. So there's Firebug. And then it's very, very easy to install. All you do is come over, hit the install button, and then hit okay a whole bunch of times, and then you'll have Firebug. Well, why that's cool is if I go to a website that I'm trying to secure for HTTPS, and what I simply have to do now, since I have Firebug installed, is go and click on net and then if nothing comes up down here underneath this is going to show me all the different links all you need to do is just go up and reload your browser just click on the reload button up here then stuff will start to show up you want to make sure that you have all clicked on down here and then you can see all the different links pop up then what you want to do is drift your mouse and this works on every site not just wordpress sites you want to go through every single one of these links by just putting your mouse over top of it and making sure that every single one of them is https after you have gotten to the point where every one of these is HTTPS, like I have on my screen, then chances are your site should work and it should be compliant. Even though it is not immediately showing up as a proper site inside of Google Chrome, it seems like you have to refresh your cache and do a couple other things, wait maybe a day or a couple hours after you get rid of all your HTTP links and so forth. Normally it'll correct itself. However, if it doesn't, the final thing you can do, and I'm gonna show you this on a WordPress site again, just for the heck of it. You can do it with any site, this is the way it works. Inside of Google Chrome, you just click on View. You can do this in any browser also, and then go View Source. And it's gonna show all your source code for your home page. And then what you wanna do is just do a find and type in HTTP colon, and it's gonna show you all of your offending code. It's gonna highlight all of it, and you're gonna be able to go through here and check all that code off and change these to HTTPS links instead of HTTP links. And then everything's gonna be wonderful. Now, however, let's say that you wanna go in and change that offending code inside of WordPress. I mean, you just do this in a text editor for a plain Jane website. But if you want to do this inside of WordPress, you just come over to Appearance, and then you go to Editor, come over here, and first off, you're going to want to start in your index area. And now that we're in index.php, what I want to do is I want to perform a find for HTTP colon, and you all 
also want to do the same thing inside of your header file. The header.php file inside of WordPress is normally where you'll find all these offending HTTP links. And that is how you secure an HTTPS site. Leave any questions or comments below. Otherwise, till next time.